Okay, what I'm going to do in this example is use Captions Alive Pro along with Pro Show Producer to build a scripted text that we can overlay over on an image and then build a video in Pro Show Producer. Um, it's going to be a winter scene, so what I'm going to do is just enter a few text uh, boxes here, and we'll just call this first one Winter, and the second one we'll call it Wonderland. All right, now a good cap or a good uh, font to use for this, by the way, is the Whitney font, which ships with Captions Live Pro, and we'll set this font for all of the uh, scripts, which in this case is the two text boxes. Now if we just draw this text, we'll see there is the text that, in the, that we're going to ultimately script in Captions Alive Pro and we'll center these pieces a bit just so they're nice to overlay over the image that we're going to use in Pro Show Producer. Now I'm going to go ahead and build the AVI just like I would any other AVI in, Pro Show, or in uh, Captions Alive. And while that's happening, uh, I will, uh, oh, first off, we have to save it. Uh, you'll see that I already have a save there. So I'm just going to save over top of that. And uh, yes, we'll overwrite that. So we'll just let this go ahead and build. And I'll be back when this process is finished. So there, the uh, AVI is now completed for that. And that will give us a solid um, script, uh, just like you see here on the screen. But for this example, I want to do an overlay of another script on top of this, and I want it to be an outline script. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select outline, and I'm going to set this for all, and I want the color of all of these to be um, white. And I want that is, I want the outline that's going to surround the text to be white, but I want the font color to be black because I'm planning to use this thing in Pro Show as a mask. So I, I want to use this for all, and uh, then if we draw this text, we'll see that we have winter. Uh, oh, we didn't set the color for the second one correctly. I need to set that to white. So now if I draw the text, we'll see that they're both there, winter wonderland. And now what I'll do is I'll build another AVI using this uh, text or this configuration of the font. And when I build this one, uh, we have to go up here and we'll save this one as uh, Winter Wonderland Outlined. Oop, outlined. And I'll save this. And while this font is being built, uh, once again, I'll check out for a few moments until it's done and we'll continue. So there, now the outline AVI is complete. And with that, we've really finished everything that we need to do with uh, Captions Live Pro. So now it's time to switch our activities over to Pro Show Producer. So here we are in Pro Show Producer. Uh, what I'm going to do is pick a background scene, but before I do that, I always in Producer, but when I'm using videos, I always insert a blank slide first, and I follow that by uh, usually uh, either a cut, or maybe we'll just leave it as a uh, crossfade. Make it about two seconds and about a second long or in duration. It seems that videos uh, load into producer better or more consistently when you do that. Um, I'm going to pick a background scene that we're going to work with here. And this one I am going to set to a cut zero. And uh, because I wanted to, wanted to show the scene and then we're going to cut into the uh, actual um, picture that we're going to be, or the actual uh, scripting that we're going to be laying over the, the image. So uh, we'll start off with this right here, and then you'll notice that the two AVIs that we built are here, so I want to lay them both on top of this slide number three. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll grab the first one here and import it over number three. You can see on the timeline it's importing here, and now we'll take the solid color one and we will ex import it over top of that. Now, if, uh, after it finishes importing here, We'll open up the layer stack and take a look. Uh, actually, I did these exactly backwards. You probably want the outline to be on the top, and you'll see why in just a second. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a solid color here. And uh, the color we might want to might want to use, we'll insert a solid color. And we're going to do, use the picker and say, let's take some of this shadow color here from just in order to keep the shade consistent. 
and uh, probably make it just a little bit darker uh, actually maybe a lot darker uh, because this is going to be the outline color and we'll set that as a text for that that uh, layer that we're importing and again we're going to import another solid color layer and this time we will set the color I use the picker here and pick this color here again and maybe this time we'll tone it down a little bit to say here okay we'll set that alright now what we've got is um, basically the uh, the outline video the solid color video and two solid colors uh, layers and the winter scene now this doesn't do much until we start using some of the magic of producer like masking so we will use this first video as a mask and we will also use the second video as a mask okay so now the two masks are being laid down on top of the winter scene and if we just go run a quick little run of that we'll see that what this will produce oh notice I only make the slide here one second long the videos are much longer than that so if we open this back up again and take a look over here in the layer settings and uh, the video settings on the layer and see that the videos are about 11 seconds long so just to give us a little playroom at the end let's make this 16 seconds that means after the video plays through there'll be another five seconds of the, the uh, of the video remaining or the of uh, the last frame of the video remaining on the scene uh, while uh, while a after it's played out now that will give us time to do things like uh, fade to black and whatever else we want to do so we'll set that for a crossfade to black so now we've got a 16 second video a one second input or lead in bit, uh, slide which will give us a nice transition into seeing the scene and then that will be followed by the uh, actual um, scripting itself you can watch it here and see what it's going to look like here comes the scene up and after a second we see our scripting begin and it says winter wonderland just as we had hoped it would so that scripts on out now what we can do beyond this though is uh, in order to it's not bad looking here but in order to to, um, to spruce it up just a little bit I have a slide up here which I call snowflakes 50 it's really nothing other than um, a ping that just has a bunch of white dots on it uh, the white dots being um, being snow and I'm going to import that into our slide here and then we'll reopen this thing you can see where the where the white dots are we're gonna to have to increase its size a little bit because it doesn't cover the whole the entirety of winter wonderland so we're gonna to have to blow it out just a little bit make it a little larger um, make make it make sure that it covers it's no problem there it'll cover everything um, and what we'll do in order to have this oh I also want to uh, make the uh, make the end be the start so we'll copy that there and that's the same now and what we're going to do is we're going to take this and say well I want the snow to fall so we're going to start it so that this would be just kind of underneath where the the scripting begins we'll bring this one down on this on the end frame so it's just above where the scripting would be now if we uh, also set the pan on this to linear so that the snow falls evenly then if we go oops, sorry one more thing we have to do we have to move that of course we have to make it down we have to demote it down to this level here and I'm going to take this uh, layer which is our solid layer and we're going to go in and change its properties on masking just a little bit and that is we're going to make its mask depth 2 so that way it'll, it will be masking the snow as well unfortunately the snow now is at the wrong spot it's underneath the solid we want it on top of the solid so you see the snowflakes from the ping laying on top of the solid color so I think we've got it all set up now and if we go ahead and play from in the video we'll see that there's our wording and inside of it you can see the um, the snow falling inside of winter wonderland so as this comes out producer will nicely freeze that last frame and let the snow keep falling through winter wonderland until we fade to a nice black okay so that wraps that up that shows you how you can do very complex uh, uh, scripting with with uh, captions live pro using using the uh, output avis in producer with very little very little difficulty